Hey guys, come apartment hunting with me. So I and my sister are looking for a two-bedroom apartment in Lagos Island. And guys, we viewed over 16 different apartments. It's the craziest experience. So definitely come with us on this journey as we go through 16 different apartments. So the first apartment we viewed is this really nice apartment. It's in a gated communities and estates whatever you want to call it and the living room is really nice really spacious it even has a space for dining table i love the fact that it has about two or three windows which lets in enough um, natural light this is the kitchen and i'm not really a fan of the yellow or orange cabinet um although the kitchen has a pantry which is a plus but i'm not really a fan of anything it is not even fitted it doesn't come with a gas cooker or microwave so i'm a bit iffy about the kitchen now this is the bedroom number one and it's just really nice i love the towels it, it has this wooden towels which is really nice and it has big um wardrobe this is the bathroom guys this was the point that i just knew that we're not taking this place because look at the bathroom it has a bath top i mean come on i do not like bathtubs and i'm not a fan of the um towels Bedroom number two, a little bit smaller, but still a decent size. It has a nice um, sized wardrobe as well. And it also has, uh, it has balcony. That's what it's called, right? It has balcony. And I'm like, okay, that's not bad. Um, this is the toilet and the toilet is a big no. You guys can see that I did not even fume <laughs> long in the toilet. On to apartment number two. This is the living room. And as you can see, it is very small. Um, it has a guest bathroom, which is really nice. It's clean. Um, it also, and this is the kitchen. I love this door in the kitchen. It's very nice. And the kitchen, I'm not mad at. I love the um, cabinet color. I love the backsplash. I love the fact that it has a back door, you know, where you can hang your clothes. The kitchen is very, very like impressive it's not fitted but like you can make do this is bedroom number one and it comes with a um, wardrobe and it has mirror in front of it it's really nice a decent size not too big but not bad and this is the bathroom i love the fact that the toilet is sectioned off from the shower area which is really really nice um it's clean as well this is bedroom number two and also a decent size but it's not big also ha comes with wardrobe um i love the fact that it has big windows which lets in natural light it also comes with um ac which is a big plus <laughs> and this is the bathroom as well i love the bathroom i love the fact that it also has natural light which is amazing um the um the living room like i told you guys is small now this is outside and this um particular apartment comes with some amenities like a pool guys it comes with a nice pool when i saw this pool i was like okay i want this place <laughs> it also comes with a gym this gym sold me but unfortunately we did not take the place because ju just some things did not add up now this is apartment number two this apartment I don't know this is the living room guys and the living room is very very big this place is spacious he has a space for dining table and this is the bedroom number one which is amazing i love the fact that the bedrooms has you know two windows which lets in natural light that's the closet the wardrobe and this is the bedroom the bathroom i mean guys when i saw this i was like no no me and bathtubs we don't we don't go this is bedroom number two still a decent size although a little smaller than bedroom number one but it's not bad um also comes with bathroom but because of the bathtub i did not even bother fuming this is the kitchen and the kitchen <laughs> was a big no <laughs> no although it comes with a pantry but mm -mm. on to apartment number four guys look at this come on come on now look at this ah this is the kitchen of apartment number four and it's just like it's giving it's you guys can already see although it's not 100 percent perfect but it's good now this is the guest bathroom the bathroom this is the guest bathroom nice and this is bedroom number one and as you guys can see this place they just wasted space because guys just take a look at bedroom number one it comes with ac as well it is too big in my opinion too big if there's anything like that and also the bathroom is just too big waste of space you guys will see what i mean when you see 
um, bedroom number two but it's really nice it's really nice i'm not going to lie comes with a heater everything this is the living room and the living room also is very spacious but i do not love the fact that the windows are not big so it's kind of dark now this is bedroom number two guys look just take a look at this so this is bedroom number two and it's quite small and it doesn't even have um wardrobe and the bathroom the bathroom is okay but i just feel like it's so small compared to bedroom number one like the difference is very very alarming now on to apartment number five i really really liked this one the living room is a decent size i think this is a new build if i remember correctly and it has a nice you know good manageable um balcony which is really really good as well and this is the kitchen it has uh, an open plan kitchen the kitchen is nice yeah it's a new build and it's fitted as well comes with cooker um range hood i think that's what it's called extractor now this is bedroom number one love the fact that it comes with wardrobe this is the bathroom i'm not a fan of the towel choice because it's just dark and the window is so small so the um, towels makes it even more dark this is bedroom number two um, a little bit smaller than bedroom number one but still manageable this is the bathroom the same towel that i do not like but i'm not mad at it i love the fact that the um, shower area is sectioned off from the bathroom on to apartment number six now this is the living room of apartment number six we are not mad at it it looks nice it even comes with a nice light <laughs> so you don't have to buy one it also has an open plan kitchen as you guys can see it is fitted to the t okay it has literally has everything in it it also has space for your washing machine it's really nice no mad at it it has a back door as well and this is bedroom number one the bedroom number one was it's really nice as you guys can see although i find that the bedrooms in this apartment are quite small but it's not bad it's not bad and this is the bathroom the bathroom is really nice i am not a fan of the towels like why why and this is the um shower section i wish it had a glass that properly sections it off but it doesn't but it's not bad this is bedroom number two really nice i love the fact that it has somewhat of a high ceiling this is the bathroom the same thing not a fan of the towels but i'm not mad at it um on to apartment number seven this is apartment number seven um this apartment <laughs> when we entered into the compound it was just giving cheap okay but inside is not bad you guys can see it has an open plan kitchen and this is actually three bedrooms guys and it was way like within our budget so was a win um this is the bedroom number one i really love the fact that it comes with wardrobe one thing i don't like about this apartment is that it is not well lit okay it's dark inside we did not really like it so we're just like let's go so i didn't really fume too much and this is us on our way to apartment number eight now this is apartment number eight as you guys can see this apartment we really were about to go for it but as you guys can see the kitchen is quite small like two people cannot be cooking in this kitchen at the same time look at the space for prep like the cabinets the countertop space is so small but i love the fact that it's a it's not a new build but the person that used it used it well that's the guest bathroom and this is the bedroom number one it comes with nice wardrobe i was literally in love with this wardrobe it comes with pop it comes with fitted acs in all the bedrooms and yeah some of the things are damaged but they told us they are going to repair it you know after we pay this is bedroom number two again guys look at the windows in these bedrooms so small literally it doesn't let in enough natural light it doesn't come with a balcony so that's why we're like no we're not going to take this one so on to apartment number nine this is apartment number nine it's really not bad it's spacious he has high ceilings it's a new build it comes fitted the kitchen is fitted it's an open plan kitchen which i love um that's the back door or the front door i guess um it's really nice not bad but i think this one was a bit above our budget and also the area is not that great this is apartment number this is bedroom number one as you guys can see it's a decent size and i like the bathroom 
but I'm not a fan. I don't like the fact that I, it's not sectioned off with glass. This is apartment bedroom number two. What is wrong with me? This is bedroom number two, and it's quite small. And this is what it looks like. This is the bathroom. Again, do not like the fact that it's not sectioned off. Now, on to apartment number 10. This apartment is not bad. As you guys can see, the living room is spacious. It has space for dining room. And I'm not mad at the kitchen. The kitchen is a decent size. As you guys can see, I'm not mad at the colors that they chose. It has a back door a balcony not a back door as you can see it's really really nice apartment i'm literally loving the kitchen i love the colors that they chose for the kitchen this is the dining room area and it has a balcony guys the balcony is quite small <laughs> um this is bedroom number one bedroom number one looks really nice it's spacious and it has high ceilings which i really liked and this is the bathroom i love the fact that the bathroom is sectioned from the sectioned off from the toilet see what i mean like come on architects do better anyways that's the bathroom and this is um apartment bedroom number two and as you guys can see it's really nice i'm not a fan of the wardrobe wood color that they chose for the wardrobe but it's not bad it has high ceilings comes with pop most of the houses we checked comes with pop heater amazing this place is really amazing but i think the reason we did not take this place is that it's a bit above our budget now apartment number 11 immediately we walked into this apartment we were greeted with dog barking the dog was literally barking it's like a big scary dog and this place is downstairs this is the visitor's toilet the guest bath toilet um this is the kitchen the kitchen is not bad decent size it also comes with a pantry as well as you can see it's downstairs and the dog is literally downstairs so it could even bite us it's like those big dogs this is a back pantry space this is bedroom number one and i'm not mad at this apartment the only thing is the dog and the fact that it's down downstairs um this is the bed bathroom and also the bathroom i think that's why we didn't take the place because the bathroom is not sectioned off with glass like we like you can see how they did it i don't like it so on to apartment number 12 this is apartment number 12 and this place is ah uh, this place has a lot of issues as you guys can see that's the guest toilet it has a balcony it's not i'm not mad at this place because it's in a really nice gated community it's within our budget the only thing is that it is not fitted guys this is the kitchen it doesn't even have cabinets come on you have to build cabinets in this place you have to get kitchen appliances this is the bedroom and the bedrooms are so tiny it doesn't even come with wardrobe and i do not like the fact that the um, bathroom is not sectioned with glass this is the second room also very very tiny guys after building um wardrobe in this place then what space are you left with it's so small the size the fact that it's um you have to get different things you have to build your cabinets it just turned out turned us off we're like mm -mm, we're not going to take this place so but it's really nice so on to apartment number 13 this is what the apartment looks like this apartment this apartment sorry guys <laughs> this apartment we really liked look at it has um balcony the balcony is a nice size and i think it comes with ac as well it is upstairs this place when we saw it we're like yes okay it's three bedroom and it's still within our budget and it's even like close like it's more closer than the other places we've seen if that makes sense um it has a big living room it has um space for dining table this is the kitchen the kitchen is amazing not mad at it although it doesn't come with cabinet but it's not bad it comes fitted it has pantry guys this place is just amazing okay comes with the pantry the pantry space is amazing this is the f um i think this is the guest um bathroom toilet guest toilet this is um the one of the bedrooms as you guys can see very very spacious comes with wardrobe not it's not a new build but it's really nice the people that lived there the previous tenants did not ruin anything this is the second um bedroom really nice as well not mad i love the fact that it is sectioned off it has its own little um shower cubicle so amazing um like i said three bedrooms amazing it even has 
I think staff quarters. But the bad thing about that place is that it is not maintained. It is self-serviced. You have to come to your own generator. So we wanted a fully serviced apartment. So this is apartment number 14. As you can see, it is really nice. I do not like that stuff, um, that TV, already built TV stuff. Um, so this is the guest's toilet. This is one of the bedrooms, the first bedroom. It's really nice. I'm not mad at it. The size, although the size is not that big, but I'm, I, I'm, I'm glad it comes with um, wardrobe. As you can see, um, the bathrooms, um, this bathroom was actually closed, so we could not go in there. This is the kitchen, guys. I love, 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 love this. I love the kitchen so much. Although the kitchen is, a, is very small, I'm not going to lie, but I'm not mad at it. As you can see, it is fully fitted, but it's so small. I think this was one of the reasons we did not take this place, but yeah, it was so small, so we're like, mm -mm, no. So this is the second um, room, and this is what the bathroom looks like and the spaces the the bedrooms are like really nice space it comes um sectioned off just like i like so we really like this place but yeah this is apartment guys at this point i've lost count but this is the next apartment that we viewed guys i do want to mention that we did not view this apartment in a single day we used different agents okay so this is the living room of the apartment and um this is the kitchen the kitchen is mm, not that great it wasn't my favorite mm -mm. we're not feeling the kitchen at all you can see the towels nah it has a pantry space so that is good this is bedroom number one and they already had this wood paneling thing that i'm not really a fan of and this is the bathroom i'm not mad at the bathroom love the fact that it's sectioned off it even has this little compartment for your like soaps and things like that this is bedroom number two comes with closets not closets wardrobes this is the toilet why does this one why is this one not sectioned off with glass anyways um this i think this is a three bedroom this is a third bedroom in this room and yeah the place i think one another thing is that it is way above our budget not way above our budget a little bit over our budget and yeah we're not just feeling the place and guys this is the final place that we saw this place gave everything that it was supposed to give and so much more ah this place was amazing guys it has tall ceilings as you can see the kitchen is amazing the kitchen is fitted to the gut it even comes with um what does it come with <laughs> it even comes with washing machine this is the guest toilet this place was giving 10 over 10 minus nothing okay this place was is just amazing a little bit above our budget but we're like mm -mm, we like this place as you guys can see come like the ceilings are so high this is the highest ceilings I've ever seen in my life. It comes with wardrobe. This is one of the bedrooms. The toilet is amazing. It comes demarcated with um, glass, just like we like. As you can see, the place. I was just feeling this place. I was just videoing any out. I was just smiling, viewing this place. This place was given. It was given. This is like my dream apartment. When I think of my dream apartment, this is what comes to mind. This is the second um room although the rooms are not big but they're not bad they're decent sized um it has look at the look at look at the windows this these are architects that actually know what they are doing the windows are long and large let's see enough natural light like when you're filming here you don't even need ring light this is um the smaller room so you can see that the wardrobe is a bit smaller than the other one but it's not bad we love it this is the, the um second room <laughs> we went back to the second room because we we're feeling this place we we're literally just filming everywhere this is the and i love the living room love the fact that it's amazing but the thing about this place is that it was just too much you know after paying rent you're paying for service charge after paying service charge you're still paying diesel deposit so it was just too much it was just too much if not this is the place that we'll be living in like no questions asked this place is just amazing guys that is it for the old tour this is all that we did we definitely loved everything we loved the journey we learned a lot as well guys it was very very eye-opening especially if you've never rented a place before in your life no on the island if you know what i mean so it was very eye-opening we enjoyed the overall experience if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to this channel if you're not already um turn on the bell notifications 
get notified whenever I post a new video, leave me your comments in the comment section. Which apartment did you think we ended up going for? Let me know in the comment section. And which apartment is your favorite? Let me know in the comment section as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you watch up to this point through my blab brains, <laughs> thank you. Um, and I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Bye.